Kamaru Usman has been in Nigeria for the past two, three days now. Mm-mm-mm. I have a lot to say about this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, there is a lot. There is a lot said about because we've been following his activities in Nigeria carefully via social media, right. via, via mm-hmm. what people are posting and all that. And uh, Kamaru Usman went to Nigeria via, he arrived in Abuja. And in Abuja, he has met a couple of people in the government. Uh, I would say that his trip was not heavily political because uh, if it was just wrong timing, because some people will be like, uh, the government will use him as a distraction, but let's not, we are try, I will try not to be political as any, for anything. So, right. so uh, he went to Abuja. He, he met with a uh, governor of uh, Koji State. Mm-hmm. Belo, right? Yeah, 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 Belo. Yes. Yeah, he's one of those governors that are active in the youth department, although he's a controversial guy. Then he met with Sunday Are, who is the Minister of Youth and Sports. He met with uh, Nido Abi, President. Abiri. Nido president, Nigerians in diaspora. Uh, he met with the vice president of Nigeria uh, in person of uh, Professor Emi mm-hmm. Osiban- mm-hmm. Osibanjo. Mm-hmm. And um, Faruku was the person you said you were talking about now? I became Dabiri, the same person. Yeah, no, that's 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 that. Right. yeah, all right. Yeah. So uh, I'm pretty sure the day he went to see Emi Osibanjo was uh, the same day that Buari was in Lagos launching the railway the president was in Lagos launching the railway project. So I'm pretty sure the aim was to meet the president and they met the vice president. So right. they, him and his camp have been pushing the narrative out that mm. they, are conver- they are having conversations about UFC Africa. Right. They're having, they having dialogues about that. And <clears throat> on this trip, Kamaru Usman also posted a video of the Abuja National Stadium. Abuja mm-hmm. National Stadium is just on the way from the airport in Abuja. You would see it. On, yeah. I'm, pre- I'm pretty sure he was passing and he's like, ah, imagine a fight card in this arena, then in this stadium, mm-hmm. and then he posted a but video. He captioned I, it, you see Africa loading. I think we posted something about that on mm-hmm. our page as well. Yeah, so uh, he went ahead. So here's the thing, yeah? Do you guys... He, he also went to Dembe, one of the local martial arts. We'll get to that too. But do you guys actually think that this move and these conversations he's having with the top hierarchies of Nigerian government, do you think that it's uh, going to translate into UFC Africa being an existence? Or what would you say about the whole trip as a whole? Do you think it looks successful or it looks meh? I will start with... Uh, Mayowa says he has points to make, but let me start with Farouk. Yeah, start with Farouk because me so, have... <laughs> <laughs> so Farouk, what do you think? I don't have much to say on this. My will do most of the talking, talking. So I will say every trip is a every trip is a good trip. Every publicity is good publicity. Mm. That's what they used to say. And media people will say. Mm-hmm. So I think it may be wrong time, like you say, because the reception has not been really great. We've not seen the crowd going wild on the smart for uh, for smart so far. Maybe uh, like timing, pandemic, the economy situation, the Nigerian security problem, which we're not going to go into it too much. So a lot of issues back home. So Maybe wrong timing, but you can't blame Usman. That's the time he has from as a break. He's, he's always busy fighting. He's always in camp. So wrong timing, good timing. He's in Nigeria. That's the most. That's the most important at the moment. And like you say, you have seen the top elite people. I don't know if them working on UFC Africa. I'm hearing that for the first time, which is I'm su- kind of excited. I'm surprised. I think it may be. It may be possible, but I think Dana White will give him a little part of the job to do. For my, own, my own belief now, maybe make, make inquiry about the, the facilities that are there, hotels, you get the point, hotels, where they can set up facilities, maybe, like they did in Fight Island, building hotels and all that. Make inquiry about hotels, make inquiry about stadiums and all that. And then he's going to now go and communicate that with Dana White and also see how Nigerian government are open to it. So, so you, that's to, your, so that's, I your think, that, that's your assumptions. That's what I'm seeing now. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be the main negotiator. He's going course, to see what course, is available. Of course, he's going to see what is available. And now, and now Dana White. Start conversations, right. And then I will now see who they contact back home in Nigeria. Well, they of from, from, from of course, Kamaru Usman would want to have home soil and like. Definitely. Having, it's, you it's guys, likely it's going you guys, to be on home soil. You, from you, what, guys, what I'm you guys imagine GSP. GSP, there mm-hmm. was a time in his career that he went like three fights in Canada. You understand? And he was treated like a god there. The whole crowd was going bananas. Imagine Darren Till in UK, the whole crowd singing Sweet Carolina. You understand? Imagine Connor, Connor in, uh, in Ireland. Imagine Whitaker in Australia. You see, they always get that like, 
homecoming love. There's that visual of the whole crowd and the audio of the whole crowd into that one person. Those are the moments that solidify a star. Kamaru Usman has done it all in the MMA. I feel like that is the moment that he misses, that his authentic people are like, that there's a place that he goes to that he's unanimously loved and like worshipped. But anyways, I know that would, that would be something he would want. But, let me ask something. But, but, okay. but, but Farouk, wait, let me go to Mayowa. Mayowa, I know you, what you would say will probably <laughs> be in line of the trip that Kamaru Usman has made. And the right. opinions you have, I'm pretty sure it's not about what I just said. But what, what, no, what? Even, even, like even that, I have, I have some things to say, mm. but, but just very quickly. But All right, go, so so go just on. just go ahead, just go ahead. Just I go ahead. Okay, right. So number one, let's just see anything you have seen in Nigeria. Let's forget it for now. It's not mm. going to work mm-hmm. anytime soon. Mm-hmm. It's just not going to. That's not the truth. Mm-hmm. If I'm going to go to South Africa, the AFC is already doing very well. Mm-hmm. They have the thing with the UFC already. They're probably going to just go to the AFC. And just mm. partner with them. That one is done, mm-hmm. right? That you have in Nigeria is so long. They mm-hmm. have no commission, no government. No, nothing, nothing. Right? So nothing. We're nothing. Not going to do US in Nigeria nothing. Soon. Nothing. So, Usman is just doing. It's, it's, for, it's, it's not. It's, it's good for. It's good, it's good for Usman to go to his country and meet the, the leaders of his country. So I respect him for that. The right thing that people don't realize, or I guess I won't say don't realize, is that Usman is Usman is a Nigerian person, but he has not lived in Nigeria since he was eight years old. Mm-hmm. He doesn't understand Nigeria and the, the, the optics and the politics like that, the way people like us understand. Mm. That's the reason why he's taking pictures with all those people. Because if he knew, he wouldn't, <laughs> he wouldn't be taking pictures with all those, those people at this time. Mm-hmm. We just had the protest yesterday, which we don't, have, yeah, we don't want to get into. Mm-hmm. The biggest thing for me is, um, is the people that brought him to Nigeria. Mm-hmm. You bring him to Nigeria, you pay show in Abuja, two million naira. For who to pay? <laughs> They do, they do another one in Lagos, so I think it's tomorrow, so I don't know, maybe not this weekend. Yeah, tomorrow. I, I, people are DMing me like fans of the sports that want to go, they can't access the guy. Mm-hmm. Let's see, even when I land at the airport in Nigeria, me, my, me as a small boy, mm-hmm. all, my people, all my people come and follow me and pick me up. Mm-hmm. There's nobody that, that, that comes to a country. Even when the rappers from Migos, others mm-hmm. people come to Nigeria, the airport, you can, from there, there's camera, everybody's there. Mm-hmm. You don't come to Nigeria, you don't come to Nigeria quietly. Mm-hmm. So why is Usman coming to Nigeria? Nobody's people don't really know until they see, until they see other people's posts. Mm-hmm, like he mm-hmm. just came quietly. There's no video of him in the airport. He just mm-hmm. entered Abuja JJ and started meeting president. Mm-hmm. From the airport, you make you just in Ghana, you mm-hmm. come coming to your country from the airport. We know, but you need to but meet don't people you, and access sorry, them. I'm going to chip in something too. But don't you think it's because MMA is not a no, premier no, no. sport? Well, are honestly, not it's about it's when, it was, when it was interim champion, he came to Nigeria and everybody knew. He wait, that... schools, did everything. Stop being that. This one. Wait, 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 wait. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. When it comes to publicity, you understand? All this uh, uh, bringing people together, all this stunt. We know in Abuja, those things, they are called mobilization. And what mobilization means is a language for you to pay people to gather. You understand? When you spend more, when, when, when Kamaru Usman comes to Abuja, Abuja is not a city of uh, all that, Oof. all that showmanship. You understand? So, if you see anything about with crowd and people cheering for somebody in Abuja, that crowd was paid for. If you really want to bring him there, then you should do that. But I get, I get Abuja is not a place for that. They did what they did. Now he moved to Lagos. He took a, pri- he took a private jet to Lagos. They have their, their small, small PR events they are doing. He even watched the UFC fight card last night with Bonaboy at Bonaboy's house. See, listen. Wait now, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, make I tell you something. Make a, my, I know if you, let's say you were part of the planning committee of organizing no. anything mm-hmm. that would do, I know I know you have ma- millions of ideas. You understand? But what I'm saying is, he always wanted to come home, but they, they booked him to come to Abuja and he went to Abuja. No, no, which is fine. Yeah, which is fine. Yeah, so, so um, me, if I was part of his team as Nigeria that I know, the easiest place for him to mobilize and for him to look like a star, just like Nganu did, just like Muhammad Ali did when he came to Africa, just like uh, Izzy did when he went to his former high school. You understand? To look like mm-hmm. a star, to have that picture that shows like he's a man of the people people are cheering is when he goes to his native land. You understand? When he goes to his town, it is just 100 naira, 200 naira made him mobilize people. They are gathering for politicians that they don't know. They don't, of course not. You understand? Talk less of somebody that is their own. Dude, if that guy goes to... no, Not to wound out himself. You understand? Just to be in. Mm-hmm, just to be in. You understand? Boys go come out. 
You he's going to go. I think he's going to go eventually. Because yeah. His, his family, if, his he even, if he even goes to Auchi and meets maybe the village head or anybody, people will gather. You would get you would get that like homecoming feel like African of champion course. is back home. You understand what I mean? So I don't know if he's planned to, he has planned to go there, but I feel like it's, if he goes to places like that, that's when you would even see the UFC machine is even posting content from that place. Of course. Yeah, let, me, but... let, let me jump into this one. Mm-hmm. I don't agree with you on the aspect of, you say mobilizing people. Mm-hmm. If you want to be honest, I want you, you, the, the spot to really grow for what it is. Like you said, the, the, my, my blame goes to the organizers. Mm-hmm. They don't need to actually come and share money if we are going to really like this sport and grow this sport because nobody will pay for you ticket to go and watch this sport when the UFC events come to Nigeria. Now who will pay for them to go and watch? I understand. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, wait, wait. They have to create that poster, like you said, that yeah. homecoming. If they want him to actually get the crowd in Ghana, they'll get. They will come. Even in Edo State, <laughs> like the government, the mean? government will even put posters. They're going to be like a, a day shut down in Edo State or Benin. See, listen, Usman is coming, Nigerian champion. That's what they do in Cameroon. That's what that's, that's, that's why I said no, it cannot happen, but it cannot happen in Abuja. It cannot happen in Abuja. It cannot happen anywhere in Nigeria. Anywhere. No, that's, that's nah, 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 number two. Nah, 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 nah. Anywhere. I wait, strongly wait, wait, disagree wait, wait, that wait, legitimate people will come out in Abuja to seek a worse man. If people know where you come, this is what not in Nigerians like more than Famsin, people that are popular in that country. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Like more than they will that. come out. They will come out. I agree with so my that, one, number, number two. Yeah. Let me tell you what and that thing that came yesterday. There's no way organizers didn't think about okay, Nigerian champion, but that we champion is Nigeria. Mm. Middleweight champion is fighting in the same in, and he's fighting, and the Nigerian champion is there. Why don't you do a watch party? Why? 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 I swear that was like the opportunity for them. They can even put it in UFC fight pass and cash out. It's, it's a, super sport, it's a super sport now. Just do a big, just do a big uh, national stadium. They did, they did a press conference that they had a super sport banner yesterday. Or oh, I think it was it's today. They did a press conference, but why did they don't do a watch party? And why didn't why why didn't they do that watch party for free to bring cars and watch with the champion? Do you understand uh-huh. what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Why, 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 is, why, is, why is Usman not doing open workout in, in, in the stadium? Let people go there and watch him do open workouts. So my why wife, is yeah, I just, why is it this thing? You need to pay people. Uh, I began to do punchy. Who cares about it? Because I Enter street, make people they feel you. You know what I'm saying? Let people. Let me tell you one thing. My wife, my wife. You know I agree with you. Let me tell you one thing about Osman. Osman is like a low key person. I don't even think this trip was planned to go uh, announce. Everybody knows what's happening in Nigeria. Osman has not been in Nigeria since he was eight or eleven when he was a kid. Mm-hmm. So the security issues of Nigeria is affecting even his coming to Nigeria. I'm going to go low key. Usman's plan was to go to Nigeria and do some kind of um charity work initially. You get the charity point? work involves people yeah. too. Now. So yeah, that. but I think now the whole thing now happened in such a way that guys, I guarantee people you, are bringing him to the I guarantee country. you that uh, mm-hmm. event, VIP fight night, where they do for Abuja. I guarantee you, Kamaru Usman and his brothers and those people that came from his. Are we back? Oh, okay. Kamaru Usman and his people here yeah, that came from uh Abuja, that came from yeah. US. I'm pretty sure they were pissed by the type of people they were involved with. Because all those people are fake people. You understand? Of course they, not, of course They were course. just in, they are just in lifestyle, waiting, waiting. Dude. <laughs> dude. Frank, let me tell you. And it's, eh? and it's a shame that people like you, even people mm-hmm. like me, mm-hmm. people like us. That they, actually care, cannot see. They, they even can't, we can't even interact. You know, journalists were messaging me to, about questions to ask this man. Because they don't watch the sport, they don't care. Mm-hmm. And so they're asking me, what should I ask him? I don't know. I, I don't know about the sports. What questions would I ask him? That there are no stupid questions because you will see that what's going to happen is that all the interviews he does, they will ask him, "Oh, do you have a wife? Are you married?" Dude, because they don't dude. watch this. Do you know what I'm they saying? Don't, they and don't there's people care. like you guys. Mm-hmm. There's people like you guys. There's people like um, the guys that have the MMA gym in Nigeria. And, and to be fair, did, this man watched did one of those fights. With, I think he did one of those. Uh, he was a ref or special guest, mm-hmm. George or something, in, 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 in the amateur fight somewhere. You know, at the um, in Abuja. The over the weekend, yeah, those guys, those know. play network guys, right? Yeah, but was... at least give him a chance to interact with people that care this, about this product, asking questions that mm-hmm. know you understand. He, that can, that he can, can do a meet and greet. Abuja sport, people get sense where they feel come, they come meet and greet. They get sense where they go organize themselves, where they go ask questions, open open microphone, anything to interact with the people, not about going to going to red red carpets where smoking cigars and buying expensive bottles of champagne what millions Listen, of naira olympics 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 is next olympics is next year nigeria has wrestling team that is training for olympics 
Usman is a wrestler. What are we talking about? There's boxing. They just did um, a boxing and kickboxing championship, mm-hmm. national championship last, last year. It's even this year. Mm-hmm. We, we are the champions. What are they doing? That's all combat sports. Why can't they do meet and greet with all national the champions? National sports festival state, happened a couple state, of months state ago. Champions. A couple of, of, yes, I'm saying. A couple all of months state, ago. All the state, all the mm-hmm. state champions, national champions, mm-hmm. judo, kickboxing, all those things. Why can't they meet with Usman? Okay, and, okay. And, so here's the thing. And to be fair, mm-hmm. they have some more time. So maybe everything will happen in the next Wait, week. Wait, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here. Here's the thing. So nobody knows. Here's the thing. Let's assume. Let, to be fair, right? I feel this is this has this is also the incompetence of our government. Sorry to say, with the mm-hmm. fact that this thing you just spoke about of meeting our uh, our national champions and all that is something that the Ministry of Youth and Sports are supposed to organize, but sadly they don't even have a database that I even has. Wait, they don't even have a database that even have the collective record. <laughs> Everything is on a file. <laughs> and the file is thrown away. You understand? That's terrifying. terrifying, I, terrifying I, yeah. I, I don't want to, I say we are not going to politics. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm bringing it. <laughs> you have to, you have to, as you have a promoter, to. as a promoter, you brought somebody, you pay money, may income. You understand? You pay money for a hotel, pay money for an event. You understand? You know, you, you don't care about the growth of national waiting, 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 national sports. Where you don't care about that. You, you are just, you just want to show your lifestyle. The same person, Charles of play off one any one any because he always cares about how he looks. He's like the Dan Blazerian of Nigeria. He <laughs> he he that night they don't they don't do their thing finish. That do you know that that event they were also shooting a movie there. There were movie there was a movie they were live on a movie set there. There was a movie shot that was going on. The next day Kamaru don't go about in life. My guy don't they don't go they don't move ahead. They just post fast cars and drifting. Abuja drifters are like you go see their caption like. This is the life we choose every day. We chill, wait, wait, wait. Now, wait, see, that's what they do. And Kamaru, what Kamaru don't come past. They don't really care about the sports or the national growth of the sports or whatever. They don't really a give a, they don't even give a, a hoot shame. about that. So, yeah, again, I'm telling you, it's not their fault. Them, they are doing what makes them happy. It's the fault of the national. They are doing their business. No, no, see, sports, everybody. The sports everybody. commission. You, you have the to sports know. commission. Because you, you know why? Let me mm-hmm. tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. Sorry, sorry to cut in again. Mm-hmm. Even the guys, you know, there was something called I don't know if you guys did um, remember. I think it was last year, early or early this year. Mm-hmm. There was a show, a, a, um, a MMA reality reality show, super sport last oh, year. Yeah. Yeah, cool show. Oh man! Oh <laughs> man! And, 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 and listen, we're saying the same issue, the same issue that I have with that show that I have with this show. Uh-huh. No, those people don't care about the sport. Uh-huh. They don't care. And it's a shame because if Usman comes to Nigeria and he doesn't interact with the people, and that's forget, let's, let's not forget the sports. Mm-hmm. If you don't let that man interact with the fans and the people, and just the, just the people of Nigeria, mm-hmm. and if they don't feel him and embrace him, it would be a big shame. Listen, me and me and a lot of my friends, we've been, we've been complaining because Usman wasn't up until this year mm-hmm. when he started knocking out um, Bones and Masvida. Mm-hmm. Usman wasn't getting love from Nigeria the, the, the way he needed to get love from Nigeria. Just like and Anthony Joshua. I used to always, I used to always complain like, damn, why is easy getting more, much more love than Usman? Usman is the guy, and you guys know because you guys are watching him for a long time. Usman is the guy that brought me to the sport. Mm-hmm. Usman is the guy that that's carried the Nigerian flag from from, off, from six years ago, and from I was so sad. I'm like, why don't Nigerians embrace this guy? Why is why is why is Adesanya more popular than Usman in Nigeria? Usman is the guy who fights for Nigeria, who is always carrying the flag, who has to. Adesanya, Adesanya was kind of. Like um, um uh, Hakim Daudu, although it was always with the Nigerian narrative, but was more of New Zealand initially at the start. See, at the start, yes, so Osman was the guy when it was, from day when it was one. China, really... When when the started China, they carried China flag. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But they were so, they were they were fighting carrying the Nigerian flag too in China. Of course, but, no, no. Yeah, so. of course no, no, it is what it is. I'm not saying that the should be loved more or less. I'm mm, just saying yeah, that I for know. me, when the fans embrace the Nigerian more, Osman mm. Osman was the first champion in the UFC. This man is the first popular Nigerian in the UFC who were actually embraced Nigeria. Stop and I just came. Three years you know another reason why? You know another reason why? Adesanya was, was a bit... People were... Okay, so, so, so... so, so, so Adesanya more. We will we'll move. We'll move. We'll move. We'll move. We'll move. We'll move. Get the point. We'll move. We'll move. We'll move. We'll move. The thing about Izzy and uh, Adesanya... Eh. Adesanya and Usman being popular in Nigeria is just the direct translation of how popular they are in mixed martial arts globally. Because mm-hmm. initially, not this year, just last year, uh, Adesanya is more marketable than easy, even today. He's more marketable no, than, no, you're right. uh, than Usman because of his promo skills and how he connects to the casuals and how he connects to the fans and even the non 
MMA fans they relate to him. You understand? Usman is more of like a gritty rest was more like a gritty wrestler, grappling heavy, you know. And uh, and then in if he was a pro wrestler, his gimmick would be a heel. If you understand what I mean, because of the Nigerian nightmare, he would be like uh, Sergeant Slaughter. You understand, like, mm-hmm. like, like the, the yeah, guy that is coming America. to, Forget to pro wrestling. you understand, the guy that is coming, <laughs> like, that is going against yeah. America. That's that's the gimmick he plays. So, 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 so I understand you mean that Nigerians should really understand that uh, Usman is more should be more relatable to them. But again, they only find out about the one that is more popular, which no, is. Okay, so let me. Maya, I'm coming after my. I want to take. I want to make a point. Yeah, let, let me just make this point final. <laughs> I think that is not, yeah, you're right, you're right. This is more popular, no marketable. But let me tell you, this is strategic. Mm. Immediately, easy one is first tied to interim, forget the undisputed. The first place went was Nigeria. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that was a very important move for him. I'm telling you, because I watched everything play out. And he went to some, went to some places, some rugged places to go and to carry, to give them. I have something to, to say school. about that. Usman, Usman, so what's going to I have it, something to say about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's from the it's home. It's, it's, it's from the home bring. It's not. It's not. Is this Usman's fault? It's know, from I the. Know, it's know, from know, the home bringing. Is is more. Is is more connected than uh, to Nigeria. Usman right. to Nigeria. Like even when you but hear. Let me just make this point. Uh-huh. Usman was supposed to come to Nigeria after he beat Kobe. Mm-hmm. If he came that, if he came that December after mm-hmm. beating Kobe, mm-hmm. he would have exploded in Nigeria. But anyways, guys, guys, we were talking about a different topic. We're talking about a different topic. I I want to close this. But Farouk, no, before before you close, let me enter. I want want to say something about Usman, the play uh, play network guys, and also the growth of MMA. My want to talk about if people know about MMA very well, the stadium will be, people will come to that stadium to see Usman. Forget about mobilizing or not. One. Two, play network guys are business people. Mm. Usman was, Usman implying to come to Nigeria. That's like we, media people approach them for interviews. They all follow the spot one way or the other. They know Osman is planning to come to Nigeria. So, guy, we want to bring you to Nigeria. We'll sponsor this event. We want you to be on our show. Osman is a business guy as well. He accepted the show. They're going to pay him money for those things. But that's not part of his plan. His plan is to come and do like homecoming, visit Aouchi, visit Edo State, let Nigerians get to see him. His approach very well organized. I don't know. I don't think so. And he must and not go, big leave, problem. Leave, 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 leave Nigeria without missing the people. I'm telling you, it's really bad. Yeah, the big problem, it. our government don't even know about the spot. Like JB said, we don't have data base. <laughs> if not because of Play Network, and most of the elite that brought him, that's how we're still going to give Play Network the credit. He will not even be able to meet Vice President because they don't even know he's coming to Nigeria. <laughs> Those guys, I don't want to link, take him to Abuja. Uh, to no, but to be, fair, to, be, to be fair, let's not forget. Our government are not even concerned about. No, no, no. Let's, let's not forget the like, Nigeria. See, but before Smack came to Nigeria, all those guys posted his they, they used to post his picture every time he won the fight. All yeah. those governors, all of them. Let me tell you, see, nothing politicians like what I'm famous in somebody that is doing well in a different country. I'm I telling know. you, Nigerians and politicians. So there's no reason for Usman to come to Nigeria and not interact. Man. See, it'd be a shame if, he, if that boy leaves Nigeria and he doesn't do all right. Don't come on, Africans! Ah,